Hey, welcome back everyone to another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we're going to do a overview in review of the 2017 Ford Expedition. So stay tuned, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode here on the channel, Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and as I said, we are going over the new project, the 2017 Ford Expedition. Yes, I know, it was a sad chapter in the uh, channel's history and in our lives that the 2013 Nissan Quest was crushed by a tree. Just like the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. That is why... The new truck is parked over there. Let's go check it out. Here we are, guys. The 2017 Ford Expedition Limited. And uh, this thing does have quite a few tricks up its sleeve. So don't go off of the body style. I know it is the old body style, like our old 2003 Ford Expedition we had and, and uh, sold. Okay. Um, or actually gave away on that one. But uh, this one, let's look through this. I know you guys are going to be impressed. I know I was, and I mean, that's why we now own it, and it is our new vehicle to the fleet. I'm so excited. Let's jump in it, guys. All right, right here on the front, guys. I love it. They went with the LED fog lights and the LED projector uh, headlights. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to point at them. Uh, there's your projectors, uh, which are really nice. They angle the beam of the, uh, the light beam to actually just focus more on the road where you're wanting to see it. And you can definitely see the difference at night. It's beautiful. I love it. Let's jump inside. All right. Uh, we're looking at the driver's side. We already see the power foldable mirrors, which I love. Uh, you have the key fob on the 2017, which, of course, isn't anything new. But I love these because you don't have to take them out of your pocket. All you have to do is walk up to the car, hit one of the numbers, and as long as you have the key fob in your pocket, it opens up. So you got the black leather interior I love because it has the heated and cooled seats telescopic uh, steering wheel you got your driver cluster up here which just is amazing has so many readouts on it uh, the automatic headlights you have automatic uh, rain sensing wipers as well and you have the power seat memory seats you know lumbar support all that stuff so very beautiful uh, vehicle i love it uh this one unfortunately is a limited it does not have the uh wi-fi built in so we use our t-mobile hookup uh to give the vehicle wi-fi it does have a sunroof which is really nice and the back windows uh both vent as well just like the old expedition so i love it black on black black on black on black they say the outside is a gray uh which yeah it does actually look gray um it does have a, a metal flake in it which is uh really nice as well so really all right so as you look inside it does have the electronic trailer brake and the steep decline uh, rating. Uh, well, it's a steep decline. Um, it, it's a Jake brake, guys. Okay, big rigs use Jake brakes. Their engine uh, retarding capabilities. Okay, instead of heating up your brakes by pressing in and letting go and pressing in and letting go and pressing in and letting go, because you're going down a steep decline. You use your Jake brake, okay, which is this, you know, uh, engine retarder right here for steep uh, declines. So I think that is amazing. I love the electronic trailer brake. Um, I had it in my 2012 F-150 and I loved it. This uh, truck does have the EcoBoost, so this thing tows quite a bit. 
And uh, that's what I need. I wanted to tow cars and I need something that my entire family could actually fit in as well. So the really cool thing about this car is there is so many things that can break on this car. So when my wife and I were, you know, talking to the salesperson to, to purchase it, you know, uh, they asked if I wanted the extended warranty. And I'm like, no, I don't want the extended warranty. Is uh, all these parts and stuff I get cheap myself. Right? All the work I get myself, and they want to charge me an additional $12,000, which what they're going to do is they're going to do the warranty work, and then they're going to upcharge you for other things that you need as well. So that's how they get their money when they're doing quote-unquote warranty work. Okay. You also have the push button start, which is always nice. If you don't have a push button start, it is an easy modification to add to your vehicle as well. Um, let's go ahead and start this puppy up. Now, our rental vehicle we had, um, our rental vehicle that we had was the 2020 Expedition. Sabian, hold on. Shh. Daddy's filming. All right, we had the 2020 Expedition, and then it had a different driving cluster, which was really nice. But this is the um, 2017 driving cluster, which is still really nice. As you see, you have two arrows, uh, two, you know, two different directional pads on the left and right. That is for both your screens. As you see, you have your left one that. That one will oh. the door alone, please. Okay. <laughs> that one's your left screen up here. And you can actually go from a display mode, your trip and fuel, your towing, off-road, and additional settings. So off-road, you're looking at a power distribution uh, map, which is really nice. And then different angles when you switch it over to four-wheel drive. It'll switch, um, showing you where your power is switching to, uh, so you can distribute it. Well, the vehicle will distribute the power. You'll just know, you know, what's going on and be like, Ooh, oh, wow. I just lost traction on that rock or in that mud. I don't know what to do, but I will do it. All right. Another thing, guys, check this out. I absolutely love this because... This is Ford actually looking out for you for once, okay? Yeah, their vehicles might break down and stuff, but guess what? They're showing you how to save yourself hundreds of dollars, okay? I'm over here at settings on the left side, okay? I'm gonna go to advanced settings right there. All you're gonna do is press the right directional button and you got vehicle, my key, and display setup. Check this out, my key create my key okay check my key status i have two keys right now okay two admin keys which means i can make copies okay as long as you have an admin key all you have to do is go ahead and start in and create your own my key guys if you're interested in that and you just lost your 2017 ford expedition fob key which everyone always does guys <laughs> then let me know in the comment section down below that you want to see that video, how to create your own keys to save yourselves hundreds of dollars from taking it to a dealership and getting another key created. Okay. That is an, an amazing way to save money right there. Okay. Also the uh, newer expeditions uh, have the center DVD, uh geez just read out everything you got your audio and you bring that up you got your climate control now this does have the heated and cooled uh seats uh which is really nice especially with summer starting and then uh you know you can actually bluetooth your phone right to the uh, vehicle and that's when Ford Pass comes into play. Um, if you guys want a, a walk through a Ford Pass, let me know again in the comment section. Tell me what you guys are interested in. I want to make all these videos 
you know, I'm probably going to make the videos anyways, even if someone said, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I want that one. I'm going to make it anyways, because I want to know what's going on with Ford Pass. What can I do with it? How, you know, it's going to make my life easier um, with having this vehicle. So, always a nice thing. And then you also have all your other different choices as well. I think this is so cool. Ambient lighting. Look at this. Now, that is your cup holders uh, under your dash. It's also in the back uh, on the floor as well under uh, the seats. So... It is really cool. Right now, my wife has it set for purple, which looks like pink. And I'm cool with it, whatever. You know, uh, I'm just happy we have a nice truck that will do the towing we need. I know I was talking with one of my subscribers, uh, Mick. Hey, Mick, I'm giving you a shout out, brother. You know, hopefully uh, you found a vehicle that can do the towing that you are needing. Um, because it is the problem of if you are looking at serious towing, you, you have to get a truck or a, an SUV and that's what we had to do. So no problem there. Now let's bring in that up. Let's go ahead and look at this powerhouse we have under the hood. All right, guys, here it is. The 3.5 liter V6 twin turboed engine. This thing is beautiful. Now, I've had the 5.4 liter V8. Um, I've had that before, and I've had the uh, the EcoBoost, you know, uh, prior to this one. And my thoughts do not change. I love the EcoBoost over the V8, and the turbos are the reason why. This thing, yes, is a 3.5 liter V6, but it's twin turbo. So this saves so much money on fuel. Let's compare it to another vehicle. Now the Chrysler Town & Country did about 26 to 28 miles per gallon on the highway. When we're driving uh, two hours away yesterday, we were doing 25 in the expedition okay 25 now if we go ahead and look at the nissan quest that we had that also had a v6 that did not have an eco mode like the chrysler town and country so it actually did worse than the expedition on miles per gallon that was only uh, picking up 20 to 22 miles per gallon on the highway so that is why I absolutely love this engine. And guys, as I said, yes, more stuff on the vehicle, but it also means more stuff that can break, okay? And that's where all of these dealerships and auto manufacturers make all of their money, okay? They make all their money on you needing to repair your vehicle and replace parts. They don't make too much money. Yeah, they make, you know... 10, 20, 30,000, you know, off vehicles, but they make so much more money off of the repairs that you need on that vehicle. So to them, it's like a, a tree that keeps bearing fruit, okay? But that's why we have the channel. We have the channel to help you with your DIY auto repair, auto repairs that you are trying to increase the money that you get to keep instead of these auto repair shops taking all the money and leaving you with nothing okay that's what we do here on the channel and i love doing it for you guys and i can't wait to do it even further into this beautiful truck uh with this engine because it's going to break my heart when these turbos need to work on because i already see some plumbing <sighs> some custom plumbing that has to go in yeah, unfortunate unfortunate nobody tell the wife though okay she doesn't need to know 
last but never least, guys, if you go fast, it means you need to stop fast. And this has the 20-inch uh, rims, really nice, 275 uh 55r20s on this it has four wheel disc brakes okay which i absolutely love i'm sure they uh they threw in the organic brake pads which most manufacturers do because it just saves them money so i uh, look forward to these getting switched over to the ceramics that'll be really nice and i love the tires they're aggressive tread they're hand kooks uh, Hankook's Dynapros, so not bad. Running boards on it, which is cool. I was a, a very big fan of the automatic running boards of the uh, 2020, but always something that we can, uh, you know, get changed out. So Hi. they did switch where they put the Expedition uh, labeling on the back there. Um, nice big Ford emblem. You know, you gotta, you gotta sport it. You know, in your eco boost with a nice size muffler and your uh, toe hitch, you spare it right there in the back. So, not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Guys, so there you have it the 2017 Ford Expedition Limited overview and a review of what this 3.5 liter EcoBoost can actually do, how excited I am about that and the towing of this beautiful truck and all the repairs and videos that are gonna come with the truck for you guys right here on the channel. So if you wanna save yourself thousands, I mean thousands of dollars because with this being a 2017 expedition, the labor and parts are going to go through the roof, okay? So this is the place to be. Right here on the channel, sell those flipping cars. I'm Zachary, and I'm here to help you with your auto repairs and put more money in your pocket and your family's pocket. So thank you so much for checking out another episode right here on the channel. Guys, make sure you check out tomorrow's YouTube Live at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have any problems with your vehicles or have any engine codes that you need to be, have troubleshooting, bring those to the YouTube Live and I will help you troubleshoot those right there on the live. Okay, guys? So thank you so much for checking out another episode. Until next time, guys. Hey, keep on wrenching. Take care. Guys? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.